know ye that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye are not, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body Amen. and in Amen. your spirit, which is of God. Amen. Good morning again, church. Good morning. It's truly a privilege that the Lord has granted us another Saturday. You know, this last two Sabbaths ago, I asked the church to pray for us, especially for me. But I don't think a lot of you were praying. <laughs> you just feel. You know, my family and I was being, I wouldn't say attacked, but just was keep, keep, all week, something was just knowing I don't hear you or someone. But I said to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Because it is an indication that you were doing something right. Yes. Come on. Yes. Because we learn that if you come, let me let me let me share something with you. Now I don't know if you're gonna like me too much. Have mercy. Well, but if you go to church and the preacher, Elder Camp, finish speaking, and you can brush off your bottom and leave, that means you did not go to church. <laughs> you decide me not get it. <laughs> if you go to school and you didn't learn something that day, you didn't go to school. Well, maybe. Come on now. So when you go to church, maybe. you must be stirred. Yes. That's right. That's right. So that you can think. Yes. So you said, Lord, have mercy yes. on me. Yes. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Come on, you with me. Amen. Yes. So, amen. amen. Yes. Out of the mouth of baby. Yes. Today, we want to talk about the body. And I realize that I have to cut this thing short for her. I just let's see. Come on now. Yes. Sometimes you have to do it for righteousness sake. Right, right, Brother Will? God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 You know I'm getting to like you. Have mercy. I don't want to push it because the day is not over yet. <laughs> and it's still tomorrow. But mom, what better joy? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. No, you have to stop. Give our heart up. And mercy. The body. Hmm. It is a gift from God. Yes. But sometimes we can mistreat this body in so much that the Lord will take it away from us. Mm -hmm. We want to look now to understand the body. Now, to understand the body, we first must understand this is the body what is destroying you part two oh. have mercy Where, where's part one you, you missed it. lord have mercy rewind 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 yeah 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 see that's what happened when you miss a day in class yeah. <laughs> but before we talk about the body. Let us pray. Our loving Father, yeah. our Creator God, yeah. we thank you for this another privilege that we could gather in this fashion. As your people come, please let them not be the way they came. But your Holy Spirit be able to stir us so we can know that there is a way that seemeth right. 
so that we can know that your coming is near at the door. Yes. We, Father God, those that are studying can hear the rumbling of the wheel. Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. Yes. We can hear the train coming. Yes. So Lord, help us to be ready. Not to be getting ready, but to be ready. Born in body and in spirit. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The body, what is it destroying us? Part two. Hmm. Uh, huh. hmm. First, before we can understand the body, we must first, um, what it says there? Physiology. Physiology of the body. Now, to understand stress response, we first, we must possess a fundamental knowledge not only of, physi of psychology, but of physiology, physiology as well. Have mercy. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the stress response in the body. How when you get upset, what happened? How when you get angry, what happened? How when you keep malice, what happened? How when you not talking to the neighbor? Oh Lord have mercy. Come on now. And we're gonna use the stress. Is one of those, cause you know, you know what caused stress? <laughs> Let's look at this. Let's look at this. We, we, we give it different name. What is stress? This is what we call stress. Stress occurs in any situation that requires making a change. Oh, Lord have mercy. No, we don't like change. That's one of the hardest things for Christians. Huh? You come and tell them, listen, don't say the Lord. Change. And it's not for worship. Come on. Now. It's for better. He says most people define stress by what? Problem. Problem that confront them and what? Certain and concern they have to deal with on a daily basis. This is what we call it. Burnt up, overload, exhausted, and overwhelmed. This is, this is what we call stress. But it's stress. And these things act on the body in ways that we would not even imagine. Do you know that our body is not ours? You're right. It is the law. We are bought for the price. And I remember, I remember when I lived in Georgia, you know, we have um, one of those own that most most of us shouldn't own. That was way back in the day. And I remember they give there was prize for the best kept lawn. Yes, you, you could just imagine. And I remember I was cutting my lawn and my lawn bore went out. Now you know if you don't cut your lawn you know you'll get you hear a lot of noise. So I went and borrowed the lawn mower, the, the neighbor lawn mower. And you should see me cutting. Mm, mm, mm. But when it was mine, because I think it's mine. Come on. But when the neighbor, I was ginger. It is the same thing with our bodies. We think that it's ours. So we want to do whatever we want to do with it. But if we only understand that it's only known to us for a time, God is going to require it from us when he comes. Come on. Let's go on. He says, Hormones. 
stress. It says the endocrine system consists of what? A series of glands that secrete hormones that travel throughout the circulatory system and act on target or wait a minute and act on target organs. The major stress gland is the adrenal gland. Now, I'll make it a long story short. To, to, to help you to understand how the adrenaline gland work is it, 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 it work like a skunk. No, I ain't no stinking. It boosts you up. You see, whenever time you go into a room and someone scare you, boom! The adrenaline gland produces a hormone that doesn't want to do this. It either it gives you enough energy so you can knock, them out. knock that person out, or it gives you enough energy so you can run as fast as you can to get away. Mm. You, do you understand how this body works? Yeah. Yes! And you know what does that? Sodium and potassium. Mm. Oh, that's another story in itself. It's the same thing with the skunk. You think the inside of the skunk, the skunk is thick? No! <laughs> But it's two hormones that come together when that skunk is afraid. Mm -hmm. Or when you feel that it's threatened and it going to let you have it. Have <laughs> mercy. It is the same thing with the adrenaline gland. It's going to make you have it. <laughs> Not in the church. Yes! It's going to let you have it. Now this is what happened. The problem is, however, now listen to this. I want you to understand how beautiful and wonderful this body is made. Whenever time, whenever time this hormone is released, if it doesn't use them, it's going to destroy whatever it is. You, you don't hear me. Let me help you to understand what I'm talking about. If, 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 if you, hello my sister, how you doing? If you disappoint me, A hormone is released. Once you, you say, uh, this is appointment setting. <laughs> and guess what? Organs, that is going to affect. Help me out. Which one do you think? I, got you, I make you think about that. When disappointment, broken, what is that? Your heart. The heart! So if I don't use up, how, how I use it up? No. That's how you use it. You either run as fast as you can, you use up that hormone, or you're not the person. I'm sorry, but, <laughs> but yeah, you use it up. Some people, how they use it up, they go, hmm. That's using it up. When every time something happens, that adrenaline rush is produced, you, you knock something, or you. <laughs> That's you. You use it up. If you don't use it up, it's going to affect. Target on. So when you disappoint me and I don't get back at you, I hold it in. Guess what he does? Broken heart. You get a broken, I'm going on. You get a broken heart. You get a broken heart. And, and, and let me tell you something. You have two eyes, two nose, two ears, two holes, two, but only one heart. <laughs> And if it is broken, you're going to be in trouble. You got to be, got to be careful who we give our hearts to, you know. Yeah. Where's the young people? Mm -hmm. Have mercy. We got to be careful who we give our hearts to. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Every girl. Every girl. Who you give your heart to? Only one you have. Mm -hmm. The first person you need to give it to is? God. Jesus. And some of us are dogs go to it too. Yes. We give it to somebody before we give it to Jesus. But I'm going on. We're talking about hormones and stress responding to the body. The body is of God. Now this is just to break down, give you the scientific breakdown of the adrenaline glands and how it works, the potassium and the sodium. It's amazing how God allowed these things to work. But let's go on. Now, hormones. Um, emotional cleansing. This now I have to tell you, 
my wife and I, from we've been traveling, this is something that we have experienced that two of the most important thing in emotional cleansing is thanksgiving and forgiveness. Amen. Yes. Thanksgiving and forgiveness. This is the number one way how to soothe that emotion, that gland, when it produced that hormone. It, oh, Lord have mercy. There ain't no drugs. Can you read of it? Where's the body produce it? There's no drug can get rid of it. But thanksgiving and forgiveness. Amen. You're not with me. Amen. Come on now. Amen. But let me go on. Let me go on. And it deals with the negative emotion and it deals with the, the negative emotion which affects the natural and it deals with this spiritual emotion, which, and it helps us to identify what is called what? The rock, or ascertaining the cause. Have mercy in one life. Emotion. I want you to understand this now. I always get scared. I get scared. I walk in the room, it's just scare me. But listen to this. Such behavior may for and for a mental, emotional problem, emotion can become so deeply repressed that we no longer mentally we what remember that. Remember them. Although our cells and tissue, although our cells and tissue, although our cells and tissue continue. To be physically impacted. You're not, you're not hearing me. He says, continue to be physically impacted by the negative electrical charge and the poison that it produces. Wow! 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 You know? Pardon? You see, the thing is, we forgot. But our body... Does not forget. Don't forget. The cells don't... In other words, in other words, I walk into this room. The young lady scared me. Every time I walk into the room, <laughs> a fear comes over. Is she behind the door again? <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, yes. This is how the body works. You remember? Whether it is negative or whether it is positive, the body cells remember. That's what I'm talking about. Now imagine when you have, and, and you see what he says? When you have negative emotion. He said the body cells remember the poisons. So every, that fight, that fight that she scared me, every time I come into that room, my body produces that hormone and it goes to the cells. Oh, Lord have mercy. You're not hearing me. Yes. And the body, it is of God. It is not ours. Now, in order for you to clear the system so that it can work well, is not to be a scaredy cat. Come on. You know, Christian must be must, Christian must not have thin skin. Amen. Mm. That's not an amen. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. That's an amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me say it again. As Christian, we're not supposed to have thin skin. Hallelujah. Amen. When someone says something, you should be like a duck in water. You should just roll up. Amen. For sure. Oh, you short and ugly. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Why? Is it true? But you're going to get mad. You can't me out. I'm not going back to that church. They don't like me. No. God sent you there. You can't take yourself away from there. Because the next place you go, you're going to be even worse. Come on. All right. But let's go on. Let's go. Let's 
let's look at the body now and how they, just to show you how our body is wonderful thing. The skin deals with what? Emotion. That's why when you say something, your skin curl, you see, your skin, the air to your eh? It deals with emotion. The skeleton, what's it deal with? The law of God. We're talking about your body now. Mm, I wish I could go into this. I'll, but I have I know I have to cut it short, but I just may say. He says the muscle the muscles. What is it? Faith. Faith. And you know if you if you want I'm sorry, but but if you want if you want your muscle to be as big as mine. You huh? have to exercise. <laughs> I want to do it. So if you want your faith to grow, what do you need to do? Exercise, exercise. exercise it. Yeah. <laughs> what about the nervous system? The power of God. It's the power of God. Wow. You're not hearing me? Amen. We're talking about the body now. What about the endocrine system? It's working with God. No, you the endocrine system deals with all of the glands. The smaller glands in the body is the one that control all the glands, which is the pituitary. I wish I could go into all of this, but I know I have to cut it for out for right Blood. Just blood is what? Justification. Justification. And you know the blood of Jesus is the only thing. Come on. Yes. That justify us. And the what? The lymphatic system is what? Sanctification. Come on now. The lymphatic system is what? Oh, detoxify the whole body. Come on now. Man, oh man. And guess. Number eight. Circulatory system. Is what? Walking with God. We're talking about your body now. Isn't it wonderful, man? If your circulatory system is not functioning, you ain't going nowhere. Lord, help me, Holy Spirit. The respiratory system. The respiratory system. The breath. The Holy Spirit. Mm. Come on. Let me go on. And the gastrointestinal system is what? The word of God. Now imagine that. When you eat, what does the body do? Digest it. When you eat the word of God, if you can't, if you don't digest it, you ain't gonna understand it. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Amen, my sister. Yes. The reason why some of us is lacking understanding is because we read too fast. You don't get nothing. You when you read system. it, you must, you must <laughs> let the word digest in your spirit. You have to eat it. Yes. Yes. That's your digestive system. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And the urinary Amen. is balancing. Wow. Now you know you have to be balanced. Yeah. You, yeah. Can't, you can't be off to the deep end. Right. Huh? And you can't be too far left and you can't be too far up. Right. <laughs> Gotta be balanced. Yep. And if you're not balanced, you're gonna have a problem. Mm -hmm. We're going on. And the reproductive system. Mm -hmm. This is where we are today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. Listen, Amen. The step that you guys are taking is like a new birth. Amen. Amen. And this thing's gonna come at you. But you must say, Lord. Into your hand I commit my soul. Yeah, Could be from father. friends, from loved ones, from what would you, but it's going to come. Mm -hmm. yes. But remember, look at things through heaven's eyes. Amen. Mm. Amen. Don't Amen. look at it to our mortal eye, because if we do that, you're going to curse all that person. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell him some good words. <laughs> or is it bad words? <laughs> well, you know what it is. Yes. You yeah. got to let Christ be, good. be in all of it. Now I want you to take a look now at some negative 
emotion. Mm -hmm. So that you can understand what I'm talking about. Whenever negative emotion that affects the organs. Oh. I mean, when a person comes, and they will wonder, how do you know this? And why you know this? I'm helping you to get into my brain so you can understand what's happening. If you're angry, you're going to have a liver problem. You're not hearing me. If you're bitter, you're going to have a gallbladder problem. I ain't making this up now. Huh? Look at this. If you're disgust, or disgust and sad, guess what you're going to have? Heart a problem. stomach problem. Hmm. No, I'm sorry. Grief. Grief and sadness is Heart. Get it? Sad, grief. We are talking about these negative emotions. When they're released, they affect the target organs. So as God people, we should not have these things running around in our system. Because the body, as we just demonstrated, is of God. And should be used for his purpose. Yes. Maybe I need to go back. Is there, yeah, thank you, my brother. Should I go back to those all oh, those slides? It seems like we're not getting it. Yeah, we got it. Have mercy. Discuss is stomach problem. Um, feeling of what? Abandonment, small intestine. Um inflexibility is what? Large intestine. Low self-esteem or feeling of rejection is what? Yeah. Diabetes. Don't, don't go to Spain. <laughs> Diabetes. Man, I wish I could go into it, but I know I want to, I have, for righteousness sake, we just have to cut it short. Fear, Fear or what? Fear. Is what? Fear. Kidney problem. Wow. Timid or irritation is what? Fear. Bladder problem. Confusion. Guess what it is? Fear. The adrenaline gland. Normally when you're scared, you are in what? Confusion. Confusion. Mm -hmm. And some, let me go on. Hate is what? Wait. Wait. Anytime you hear people say, I hate this, I hate that. I hate, I hate when they do that to me. I hate when I look at This is what's going on. Waking. We going on. Selfishness is cancer. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, man. Wow. But listen, I want you to understand something here. Wow. So How does the Bible set to handle natural health and mental health? You know Hosea 4 verse 6, but I don't think you're familiar with Mark chapter 11 verse 12 to 14. And I want you to turn with you. I said all of that just to say this that I'm about to say to you. All of that just to say this. Thank you very much for the time allocated to me. Mark chapter 11. I said all of that just to say this. Are we there? Oh, yeah. You there? Yeah. Then start reading it with No, that's all. Uh, I'll read. Mark chapter 11. He says, Mark chapter 11, verse 12. And I want you to come with me. You have heard this in time past, but I want you to look at it through heaven's eye. Mark chapter 11, verse 12. 12. I ain't going to read the whole thing. Let me just get the point out so you could work with me. Verse 12. I'm reading. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was who, who he was hungry. Jesus. You guys are with me. And I know I didn't have to go through this whole thing. Verse 30. So, when you are hungry, guess what you do? Look, man, we going on. He says, And seeing a fig tree afar off, having need, he came, if happily he may find anything thereof. And when he came to it, he found nothing but me. For the time of faith was not yet. What happened there? The tree was full of need, but no food. What happened there? No food, so that means his what? He's his hungry. need was not met. He's still hungry. Have mercy. Yeah. Amen. We go on. So verse 40. No, 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 no. Stop with me for a moment there. Whenever time you have a need and it's not met, what do you do? 
you get upset. Who say upset? I do. Who said pray? Amen. No, let me tell you. No, think about it now. Your wife is a good cook. Any wife is a good cook here? Yeah. Do you know that the hand that cook tells whether the family lives or dies? Oh, that's a cooking class. <laughs> let me not go there. That's for the cooking class. We'll talk about that in cooking class. But think about that. Imagine the wife cook the, one of the best dishes. Put it in the refrigerator and say, your food is ready. And when you come, the food is not there. They tell you that one of the children, how would you, how would you react? You're hungry, man. All day, how do you need breakfast or lunch? How would you react? Be angry. Yeah. Now, when Jesus knew they met, what did he do? Come read it now. What did he do? He says, and Jesus answered and said unto it, no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciple heard it. What happened there? <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened there? Oh, Lord have mercy. Now, this is where the rubber hits the road. Now, I want you to listen to this very carefully. What does this say? The way, the way you receive it, that is how you will receive it. So what you would do, you think that's what others would do. That's true. Well, that's true. That's all. Help the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are talking about the adrenaline glands on the body now. Are you with me? Yes. If you would do it, you think that the next person would do it too. But I want you to stop for a moment and look at things through heaven's eye. Look at God for who He is. Are you with me? He said that I come not to do what? Destroy, but to what? Fulfill. I want you to read it again. When he has a need, look, Jesus. That's what we're talking about, Jesus. He has a need. And what do you think he do? Curse and carry on like you would do for the food out of the refrigerator? No, man. We cannot be talking about the same God that I know. Jesus. But listen, the same way you think that he curses, the disciples think that, and scholars even think that. Hear me now. And you can look at these things from another perspective, but I want you to look at it through heaven's eye. Yes. Christ did not come to destroy. No. The same way you think that your sickness, you can't get rid of it. Mm. And if you think and believe that, you will never get rid of it. God is saying, look at things how I, God, will do it. Amen. <clears throat> what he did, he go to his father. Yes. Amen. You're not hearing me. Amen. That's what we ought to do when things happen. He said, he go to his father and what he did. He said, no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciple heard. So what he did was he prayed. Nine words. It, you and I would curse and carry on for our food. But he didn't do that. He prayed. Like what he would want for us to do when something happened in our life. It's to pray. Yeah. Don't make that adrenaline glance. Destroy you. Pray. The devil intent to destroy you. Come on. Now. And when you use his emotion, that's where the destruction comes in. Because it's only the anger that caused that adrenaline gland. How am I making with you? Jesus, don't curse. The disciples believe that he cursed. Scholars believe that he cursed. But if you know God, you would know that he don't curse. And he don't come to destroy. He 
You come to fulfill it. Yes. Yes. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's jump down to verse 20. You understand? And he says, verse 20, same chapter. In the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the root. And Peter called in remembrance, Peter, Peter. Oh man, you don't want to talk about Peter. Peter, he says, what? Master, behold the fig tree which thou, Curse. which thou, cursed, is with a wheat. So he also believed that Christ cursed it. Just like how we believe that he cursed it. But you see, if Peter knew Christ and knew his purpose, he would not think that he cursed him. You're not hearing me? Yes, yes man. And Peter loved Christ almost more than any other disciple. Yeah. But he wanted to do it his way. It's like us this day. We want to do it our way. Come on now. The song says do it my way. That's selfishness. You want to do it your way. That's not ways of God. Are you with me? So, what? No. Jesus now, and if you look in Matthew, turn with Matthew. Turn, turn, turn with Matthew 21. <laughs> I'm still coming in short. But let's go to Matthew 21. Keep your finger there at Mark chapter 11. Go to Matthew 21. Just, I just want to bring out one point there to show you that the disciple, when Christ did that, when Christ did that, Matthew 21, verse 20, they were marveling. They said, man, look how quickly you talk to this tree and it tried. Matthew 21, what it says there? And when the disciples saw it, they marveled. They marveled. In other words, they said, man, how could you just talk to the tree and it tried up? How could you say that the sickness can be reversed and it reversed? Now I tell you, 12, 11, 12 years ago, I used to long working with blood pressure, high blood pressure patients, man, diabetes, that used to be the big thing. Now, today, I don't even bother with that. Because it's so easy. You can get rid of it in two weeks. Mm. The way you perceive it, that's how. So we deal with cancer now, renal failure, things that the doctor gave up on because we know there is a God. Go back to verse 11 now. Chapter um, Mark 11. Mark 11. Now, let me give you four principles that God is going to show us that he will give you power Amen. over sickness and disease. Yes. Come on now. We're back there. 21. Jesus now, once they start to marvel and say, man, how quick this big tree dried up. Verse 22, and Jesus answered and said unto them, have faith in God. Jesus now is trying to tell them how you can get the same result. He said, he said, greet the word. You will do. Come on now, this is nothing. Greet the word you will do. And you see, Paul, he came and proved it. Great work. The disciples, their shudders were healing people. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not hearing me. This is where we are. We should be privileged to be living in a time such as this. Amen. 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 I'm going on. I'm going on. So he said to them, he said to them, have faith in God. That's number one. We're talking now, um, baptism of candidate. Have faith in God. Amen. Amen. Verse 23. It says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. Guess what would happen? Guess what would happen? It will come to pass. So number one, what you need to do? Have faith in God. Now you know most of us have faith in our doctor more than we have in God. Yes. We have faith in our keys more than we have in God. When you go home and you take out your key, you don't think whether or not the door is not going to open or it's going to open. You just go like this. The faith! 
But when you pray, you don't believe that it's going to come to pass. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We have more faith in our key than we have in God. Jesus is telling the disciples, you can do the same thing too. The only thing is, you must have faith in God. Amen. And number two is not to doubt. We're talking about sickness and disease here. Don't doubt. Because if you doubt, you waver in God cannot work with that. Jump ahead with me. Jump ahead with me. Verse 24. Verse 24. He said, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever he desire, when he pray, believe. Yes. If you read any further, you're going to spoil it. You're not hearing me. Yes. Yes. We are talking now yes. about sickness and disease. Yes. You telling yourself you can't get rid of it, guess what will happen? Yes. You're never going to get rid of it. Yes. But you need <coughs> to have faith in God. Yes. And number two, yes. don't doubt. Yes. And number three, Alright, let's jump down to verse 25. What is it in 25? It says, on um, when he sat praying. Wait, wait, wait right there, wait right there. Let's read it again. And when he sat praying. Forgive. Have mercy. Amen. Now, this is where the rubber hit the road. Forgive. Saints of God. You know, Christian, you can keep the best minds. Mm -hmm. You come to church, one walk to that door, one walk to that, and you never know they're not talking. Mm -hmm. Have mercy. Mm -hmm. That should not be a God. Amen. Yes, that should not be a God. Why the reason you think you don't have no power? When Jesus called the disciple, one of the first things he gave them is what? Power. Power. Yes. And, 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 and don't get me wrong. They were not perfect. They were just like me and you. The same way we believe that we would curse the person who take our food. <laughs> they, they, they think the same way too. They think Jesus cursed the tree. But all he did was he prayed to his father. And his father granted him the desire of his heart. That's all he did. If God is your father, you can pray for whatever you need and you get it. Amen. 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 I'm telling you. Amen. Amen. It can happen. I know it. I can testify. Amen. Over and over and over again. I was in an accident the other day. I truck. Somebody run in the back of it, <laughs> and I know I press for time. And they tell me, oh, lay down, everybody, lay down, cry wolf. <laughs> yes, it's your, it's, a, it's your 48 and I'm a wolf. And it says, Lord have mercy. <laughs> when you listen to servant of God, you will not believe that these are people that will tell you, cry wolf. And they tell me, get a lawyer, get this. <laughs> My truck is an old truck. But I know it's faithful. Amen. And even though, if you look at the hip, it messed up real bad. And I went and I buy it back. They tell me, oh, you are a fool. You are a fool. You cannot buy that back. Everybody, all my colleagues is only one person. One guy. Tell me, I would have bought it back. I bought it back and I drove it. I was, I was, I was about 16 hours away from home and I had my family. Now I tell you, the time of the accident, the insurance company gave me a rental car, 2015, man, I was in style. <laughs> yeah, man, man, down the road. Yes. You would never think that I would. 19, 19, 2015. 
and they give you equal value. I said, pray. <laughs> After the time was over, where they settled up, they says, well, yes, we, we are wrong, we hit you. So, we'll pay you back for the truck. No problem. This is all right. Now, the money that they give me, because it was old, you can't even get another one. <laughs> but I said, to God be the glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't hear me? Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. I didn't curse, I didn't carry on. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Now everybody look at me like a fool. They still. And as our custom is, to go to the next appointment. Yes. Amen. 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 And I drove to the next appointment. And in the in the in the in the third week of our presentation, a guy walk up to me and he tell me, he said, Listen, the Lord tell me I should bless you. Yes. Amen. You don't hear me? I said, bless me? He said, yes. He's there with a truck. Amen. He's outside here. Amen. He went and bought it. And he started to do the little, little nicks and dents that was in it to, to, to get it prepared. But because I was so far away from home, I said, I'll take it. Nobody fix it, I'll take it. I'll get it fixed. This is our first trip in it. <laughs> you have to believe that God said he'll take care of you, he'll take care of you. Now I tell you something, my colleagues, they think that I'm a still who. They told me I make them look bad. Because when I go to speak, I don't put a price tag. But I have to be, I'd rather be obedient to God than to man. Amen. And as much as they pressure me, man, you make me look bad. You have a chance. I said, God tell me, let the church do what they're supposed to do. Amen. You guys don't do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm not the one that's going to get the whooping. You're going to get it. Because if God tells you to bless and you don't bless, it's going to be between you and him. Amen. But I just have to do what I, and you know, man, I can go on, but this evening I'll talk more. How the Lord wants us to work for him, but there's so many times people come and say, here. But there's a string. You can't work with a string when you're working for God. Amen. You understand? Amen. What I'm trying to say to you, I'm saying, I have to say this, that you must have faith in God. Yes. Not in your circumstances. Yes. But in God. Yes. And you must not doubt. Yes. It looked like you didn't get that one. Yes. You mustn't doubt. Yes. You don't know when it's going to come through. But you will. Yes. And you must believe. Yes. So having faith alone is not going to do it. But you must believe. Yes. And number four is what? Forgive. Forgive. If you have heart against any. When you forgive, verse 26, it goes on, read verse 25 and 26. It says, And when he stands praying, forgive. Yes. If you have heart against any. Yes. And, and that your Father also, which is in heaven, may. No, 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 no. If you read any further, you're going to spoil it. May forgive you your trespasses. Come on now. Because some of us say we forgive, but we don't really forgive. We just being civilized. <laughs> you know because you're a Christian, you have to forgive. But you don't really forgive. You just think, you know, hey, forgive you. And then when you stay next week, it's uh, <laughs> it just me forgive. Verse 26. He said, but if we do not forgive, oh Lord have mercy. So, if you don't forgive, where are you going? To hell. Uh, <laughs> you're not hearing me? If you don't forgive, where are you going? To the hospital. 
God says, if you forgive those that trespass against you, I will forgive you for your trespasses. So, I might not see you again. But if I know the pastor, he may invite us that may be there. I don't know. But if so be the case, remember that there is a God in heaven who sit in high and look at low. Please be faithful unto the end. There's a crown of life awaiting. God don't want a sick body. He wants a healthy body. God don't want a medicated body. You know what I mean? He wants a healthy body. He don't want a weak body. Come on. Yes. That's the God we serve. So do all that you can. And he will take care of it. That's all he asks of you. Do what you can. And he will take care of the rest. So as you go through the day. Remember. That God is God. And you have to treat him like it. Not like how you would do it. But that's how he would do it. The way you perceive it. That's how you're going to see it. We love.